All right, come on in, hit the like button, think but subscribe if you're already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 Nick Cage Western independent film called The Old Way. Here's the plot. A retired gunslinger, Colton Briggs, fa uh, faces the consequences of his past when the son of a man murder arrives to take his revenge. Briggs must take up arms once after, once more after his wife is killed and is joined by his young daughter. So here's some of the cast. You know what? This wasn't that bad as I thought it would be. And that's why I took as long as I did to get around to this. Um, I mean, yeah, Nick Cage was dead panning the whole time, but it honestly felt fit his character type. Uh, the camera quality was of a Hallmark film at points, but for the most part, camera shots wasn't that bad. There was a little bit of, of uh, a kind of questionable shots that the director went and and chose but that was more of the beginning and that it wasn't really that much i have to agree with my stepdad on the daughter stealing the show uh aka film uh to me her character writing had a little bit of a layering to it her acting was ironically better than the cages by a lot and i would even argue by anyone in here um but definitely yeah nick cage is nick cage so compared to the all the other actors in here he's like the lowest one but, you know, he still wasn't, you know, bad. He's just kind of average, in my opinion. And sometimes he can be bad, but he was, he was okay. Even the side characters, including the villains, wasn't bad when it came to the acting. For the most of the film, it was good, very entertaining, and I will say the big final fight scene was a bit of a letdown, in my opinion. But it was saved by the end performance. Now, here is my ready now come back to my final thoughts. The film story-wise was a three and a half out of five in my opinion, but because how great of an acting of the little girl and how well written her character was, it made this film a four out of five for me. That's how good she was throughout the film in my opinion, and I strongly, strongly just let you, want you to check this out. Just for her, if, if anything, if anything, if you're not a Nick Cage fan, if you're a Nick Cage fan, then you're probably going to go in for Nick Cage. But for if anything, it is going to be this little girl. Someone to look out for in the future of acting. Um, if she even continues. Because you know how uh, the stories of how it can go either way with uh, you know young actresses. Unfortunately, which is sad and sick. But it is what it is. But I look forward to seeing her more of her stuff. But I am also curious about what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below. Now, I will not have a series this week. Uh, honestly, I was kind of burnt out um, after the two I did within two weeks. So, I'm kind of going to be taking a break from that. I don't know what I'm going to be doing film-wise. I have to look tomorrow. But, um, uh, I know that uh, my my stepdad suggested uh, a film. And I'm going to put that on. I had that on my list. I was originally going to check it out at some point. But, I will check it out. Maybe I'll hold it for this week depending on how everything goes. But remember, I love you all. Please stay safe, spread the love most importantly, and skull.